join me as I try to build a voltage generation device using just a DC motor and a magnet for a cool science experiment. In this video, you'll learn how to create a voltage generation device to understand how electricity can be generated from mechanical movement, we will tackle this concept head on. The idea that motion can be converted into electrical energy seems like magic, but it's actually rooted in the principles of electromagnetism. Today, we're going to explore this concept in a hands-on way using a DC motor and a magnet. By the end of this experiment, you'll have a solid understanding of how mechanical energy can be converted into electrical energy. We'll explore the components needed for the experiment, demonstrate how to set it up, and explain the science behind the voltage generation process. The components we'll need are a DC motor, a magnet, a small light bulb, and some copper wire. The DC motor acts as a generator, converting mechanical energy into electrical energy. The magnet plays a crucial role in inducing the electric current, which will be explained in more detail later. Watch as we power a small light bulb using the generated voltage, showcasing the incredible potential of this simple setup. As we connect the wires to the motor and magnet, you'll see the light bulb come to light, powered solely by the mechanical energy of the motor. This is a remarkable demonstration of the energy conversion process, and it's something you can replicate at home with just a few simple components. The beauty of this experiment lies in its simplicity, making it accessible to anyone curious about the principles of electromagnetism. We've successfully demonstrated how to generate voltage using a DC motor and magnet, illustrating key principles of electromagnetism. This experiment is a great way to visualize the connection between mechanical energy and electrical energy, making it a valuable tool for learning and exploration. If you enjoyed this experiment, be sure to check out our other science videos and let us know your thoughts in the comments.